Hey everybody, uh, back again, another video, another plain air video. I'm thinking country sort of area. I'm gonna head up Jillaby, Yarramalong area way and uh, have a drive around, see what I can see and uh, I'll pop the camera open when we uh, find a spot. so I could maybe put the camera on top of it while I uh, paint so we record. Actually, because that's, that's the tripod there, obviously, and that's holding the, uh, the shard box. So uh, I've only got this, like, uh, it's, yeah, it's like a uh, selfie stick type of one. Like, it goes out pretty far, and it's got this sort of tripod thing here going on. But um, it's kind of not the sturdiest looking thing. So yeah, I'm going to try and... Uh, sit on the car, I'm mounted to the car somehow so you can still watch me paint up this incredible looking scene. Like, that looks awesome, doesn't it? I think that looks sick. <laughs> Big step up. Remember to fill up the drink bottle. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I've forgotten to fill it up like twice now, I think. Uh, three? Maybe four times actually that I can think of at the top of my head. Maybe three where I was really thirsty. Four that I just completely forgotten about and wasn't too thirsty. So yeah, that's a bonus. I'm gonna get started. got my scene all sketched up pretty happy with the way it's looking let me show you what that looks so that's the sketch up here I've kind of cropped cropped this area here a little bit to there and then same with the top there sort of cropped that there so you got that little scene happening there um, so that's kind of the deal it's what I'm kind of working with here um, I'm kind of really happy with this actually I'm kind of really I am really happy with the scene so I'm gonna try and uh, mix up some colors and and get it done and dusted let's try try this out all right got my colors all mixed up build in this sort of back mountain there this sort of mountain here because it's further away i'm using a lot more white the way I sort of work when it comes to these mountains um, is I'm trying to put in the uh, try to put in the shadow first. Don't want to impasto it too much, which just means like um, it's like thick paint, right? I just want to sort of put in where those shadows are that you can see on the mountain itself. I don't know if my camera can pick that up, but it's not actually a pure black. It's actually more a bluey green. See what I mean when I say, you know, put in those those darks first, right? Like, oh, whoops, I picked up the wrong color. <laughs> That's the hard part about holding the camera while I paint. Um, but you can see what I mean when I say put in those darks first, right? Because now I've got that, I've got that structure, right? I've got that structure to build on. What I used to do, which was very stupid, was I used to just get my paintbrush and go slap, 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 slap and then that'd be it, right? And it wouldn't look anything like a mountain with trees on it, right? At least these are kind of representing mountains with trees on it, right? Or, or hills, mountains, they're like, they're mountains, right? I, like that's how big a house is, right? And then there's the, the hill, hill, mountain, whatever you want to call it. Um, leave, a, leave a comment in the comments below what I should call them, <laughs> whether they be hills or mountains. But, um, right, so, there's lots of trees on this, right? So see how much better that is? Just slowly, methodically tapping in some of those um, those darks and then working to the light, right? It just, it works. It works so well, 
right? And um, it's a lot better than what I used to do. I used to just get, I think it was just like the flat. And I used to just go slap, slap, slap with that black and then maybe pop in some like brights through there and sort of call it a day. Uh, thank God I've, uh, <laughs> after many, many paintings, I've kind of, kind of rectified that and, and changed my ways. So, learn from me, learn from my mistakes and uh, work methodically, work bit by bit by bit and then you'll have a much nicer painting in the end if you do that. And you can see how the contrast here, see how light that is compared to this here, which is still not as saturated as I'm gonna get, right? I'm still holding my complete saturation for like around this foreground, mid-ground area, right? Around here to where my complete saturation is gonna be. It's still toned down. I've still put a bit of white through that green there. Although it's a bit more, it's a lot more saturated than this green. You can see it's a lot more pasty, a bit more blue through here, right? But you can see how that pushes that backwards, right? It pushes that, that mountain back, brings this one forward, and then eventually this foreground here is going to be the closest thing because it's so saturated. And I'm going to use the darkest darks as well, which will pull it forward once again. I've made some, uh, I don't know if you can see this, but I've made some friends. <laughs> made some friends at the house over there, the kids. I don't know if I can focus in, they're jumping on the trampoline there. We're having a good old chat. And some crazy looking animal just landed on my fucking paintbrush. Holy shit. <laughs> I can't really hear what they're saying. I'm just saying, hello. <laughs> That's pretty funny, but I'm working in some uh, lighter whites into this scene here. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about them. I might try and pop a little bit more saturation in a couple of places, but working it slowly, progressively. You can see I've started to get a lot of <laughs> bugs and things on the, uh, on the panel because there's been a lot of wind there. So I dotted in that sort of house there couple of lines there's a shed over here a bit closer it's a little bit bigger and then there's this big open plain right there with a bunch of horses on it with lots of fencing stuff like that which looks really really nice so I'm gonna be working that now with a bit of like green there a bit more saturated so that looks a bit closer again um, so I'm gonna work that up a little bit more too so I started to block in some of this fencing around here you see, I got some of that meadow through there. Uh, I also wanted to, I got a bit, I got a bit, um, what's it called? I just wanted to rush forward. <laughs> uh, I got a bit impatient with it and uh, just wanted to see how that river would look if I just dashed in a couple of things down there. Uh, I like it a lot. I think it's gonna look really fucking good, especially once it looks all framed up. And especially once I add in all these little, little um, fencing here. So I've got just the black here. I'm just loading up heavy on the very tip of this long flat brush here and slowly but surely adding in little, oh, sorry, little marks for the fencing. And then once it sort of uh, runs out a little bit, just load it up again and just slowly add in this fencing. It's gonna make a world of difference the slower you do it, the more accurate you do it. I think it'll look really great once it's all done up. I'm trying to fix up some of this water here. See, I've started to put in some um, little white highlights through here. Might wanna actually get a little bit of pure white actually through there, dabbed it out so it's right on the tip there, and uh, get that nice, get that nice sunshine hit right on top of that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's very fucking hard to do when uh, I'm holding the uh, camera here. Let me go fix that. Up. 
Maybe add some blue there to tone that through there a little bit maybe so it's not so chunky. But yeah, I think it's coming along really, really well. Uh, I've still got this little foreground bit here to do and then I'm going to clean up a few things. Getting more and more bugs on, on, this, uh, on this canvas, on this panel here, uh, the longer I stay out here. Alright, I'm going to call it there. I'm quite happy with this scene. Actually, really happy with this scene. I think it looks really beautiful. I love that little little pond thing going down through there, and uh, the sun hasn't moved too much since when I started. Thankfully, because I started early in the morning. Uh, yeah, I'm really loving it. I think it looks like a really great scene. I'm super, I'm super happy with how it all came together. Just getting close there. So many butterflies here today, actually. God damn! Like, look at this guy. <laughs> There's so many butterflies around here. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with everything, you know. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna touch up too much. Actually, looking at it now, I might brighten, like whiten out that sort of meadow there, so it pushes that back a little bit. But uh, other than that, I think I'm quite happy with everything as it is. Super happy with it all. All right, that's gonna do it for me, guys. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, hit like, hit subscribe, and uh, let me know what you thought about this video. I'm sorry I didn't have a proper stand for this camera. Uh, yeah. Anyways, if you liked it, let me know in the comments. Hit like, hit subscribe, like I said. And uh, I'll be doing a lot more of this in the future. I'll catch you guys soon.